Hello, welcome to this short video explaining how to prepare a model for 3D printing in SketchUp. Okay, so I have this example model. Looking around, I can see that there are a few problems with it, um, which we're going to try and fix. First of all, I know that this isn't scaled to fit onto the print bed. I'll show you the print bed size. It's 300 mil by 200 mil. That's down there. That's very small. Okay, so scaling down. If I take this object, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move it and snap it somewhere down here. I'm also going to group it by hitting G on my keyboard, which allows me to scale down. Okay, I'm going to scale down by a factor to 1 to 1000, so 0 0.001. Let's take that right the way down. Scale factor 1 to 1000. That's good. That's going to fit on my bed. So a 1 to 1000 model. Let's just get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so preparing this model for printing. I can see that there's a few problems with it. I'm going to explode again just to make life a little easier. First off, it needs a base. So, let's change that base. Actually, first I want to show you what would happen if I tried to print this. So I'm going to go export 3D model, export as an STL file, stereo lithography file, jump into MakerBot. So I'm using MakerBot software, you might use a different one, so I'm going to import that. Okay, what's it doing? <laughs> Deletes me before exporting as an STL file. I had some hidden geometry in there. So I'm going to delete that, jump into here. So that's one of the first things to check, that you ha aren't hiding any geography. View, hidden geogra geometry, and there you see. So check your model that there's nothing hidden, because when you export it, that hidden geometry goes with it. Okay. So I'm going to do the same move again. Exports 3D model as an STL file. Replace it. Jump over to my MakerBot. And add in that model. So this should fit now. Yes. But, so these are the problems. I've got faces missing. I can see into that tunnel there, that tube there. I can see into the building and I've also got sides missing and the base missing. So that is because my surfaces are reversed. So I'm going to delete that out and show you what I mean. So in SketchUp you've got, before you've applied materials, you've got this white face and you've got this grey face. I find that very difficult to see. Just turn off hidden geometry. So let's make that a little bit more obvious, which shows us where our reversed faces are. So I want to go to Styles, I'm going to go to Edit, second option there, Face Settings, and there's that grey I can see. So let's make that nice and bright, so we can't miss it. Now, we need to get this to the point where we can't see any of that pink colour. If I select that, I'm going to double click in, because it's a component, I'm going to select that right click reverse face so that's fine but I can still see some pink so I'm going to close that top off the line I can delete that line off and that's fine check the bottom's okay yep the bottom's okay double click out so that's that fixed double click into here reverse that face that's all good in here reverse that face so, one thing not to forget is on the underside of it. This is a component, so if I stretch the line across, I'm closing that off. That's fine. I can still see some pink though. I have windows and doors. This needs to be a closed object, otherwise it will fill up with support material. And it wouldn't actually print because these walls have not got a thickness to them. So I'm going to close that off 
with a line actually make sure I'm in that component first and then close off with a line and that's closed that window off so that's good same round here close this door off okay click out double check again I can't see any of my pink back faces which means this is now good to go so if I file exports as a 3d model again STL file export replace it jump into my software add the model and double okay have a quick check round that's good to go okay hope that's helpful thanks very much